So, should Christians use dating apps? Is this something that's an absolute no, or is it something that's okay? Let's discuss it in this episode of the Man to Man Podcast. Yo, what's up, everybody? This is James Howard Jr. You're tuned into another episode of the Man to Man podcast. This podcast is all about helping men honor God in every single part of their lives. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in, I want you to consider subscribing. So should Christian men, should Christian people who are in the dating phase use dating apps? Is it something that's kind of like sketchy? Is it something that's kind of like, hey, man, that's just for like weird stuff? Or is it something that can be beneficial? to not only your dating life but to your relationship with God so me and my friends Micah and Raph are going to be discussing this we're going to be seeing you know how it flows and different experiences they have with it and um, different advice that you know possibly can help you out so let's jump into this episode of the man to man podcast Uh, should Christian men use dating apps should they is that even a thing man I'm gonna let you go first Shafer on that one yeah, I feel, man, I, look, I'm going to preface this by saying, like, I feel like at least some of my answers to some of the questions might be a little unconventional. Uh, I don't know, but I feel like, like, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be as honest as I can. Um, but to answer the question, man, I feel like should, maybe, maybe not, you don't, you, sh- you, maybe you shouldn't. But I I don't feel like it's something that isn't like unpermissible, yeah, right? right? So like I do feel like, and, and I feel like I can kind of speak to like the the different cultures, like where back home in Mississippi, right? People being on a dating app, like dating apps already kind of have like a bad a bad connotation or like a bad reputation, right? So like even when when people talk about apps like Tinder or whatever, like the reputation is like you're looking for somebody to like hook up with or like to have sex with, right? And um, there there's, you know, I mean, to my knowledge, like it's, it's funny because like sometimes I'll be watching something, I see like an ad for like a bunch of different dates. So like there's, I know now like a bunch of different ones. Um, but I do feel like back home in Mississippi where like the the population can be like dense in certain areas where like you kind of know everybody anyway or you see people you can you know you can meet somebody whether it's at church or whatever so like the need for like a dating app may not be like you may not need to have one or use one in an area like that but like up here like we know so many people um within our Christian network, like our friends who are Christian, like a lot of them actually like whether they met their spouse or like, that's like the only way that they can kind of meet people that like where they know for sure, okay, this person is a Christian, they know, like, okay, we have like the same set of beliefs, like, we, uh, we believe the same thing. And so I feel like maybe for an area like up here in New York City, like it's, it's a little bit different. Uh, But I guess it just depends on what app you're using and what your purpose is for, you know, using that app. Because I know if like here, like you may not ever unless like you're plugged into your church or like networking in that way or like letting people know like, hey, I'm single. I'm kind of interested. Like, do you know anybody or that type of thing? You know, you may never come across somebody who, you know, that the conversations may never lead to that. So I feel like for it just depends. I feel like I feel like my answer is kind of similar. I mean, obviously, you got first Corinthians six and ten. Everything is permissible, but not everything beneficial. Uh, So, I mean, this is a conversation about Christian liberty, like are Christians free to to go on date naps? And I mean, the the straightforward answer is yes. But uh, the the follow up is, is this actually beneficial for that person? And I think it, it might be. Uh, something that you kind of have to look person by person basis and not the same for every person. Um, But I think like for me, you know, I don't know if it would have been as beneficial, especially Tinder. Was that the one you can slide swipe left or swipe right or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. It was just like I was looking for something to bite. And it's like this is why I'm on here. And I think that if that's the if that's the reality, then sure. And I also feel like, you know, it's kind of interesting the analogy you gave Schaefer as far as like Mississippi and New York. What I would think is that in Mississippi, it might warrant more reason too, just because it's not as many people. 
Um, which I mean, I guess if you you know are in a small town of like 500 people, you might you might know somebody. But Hattiesburg got like 60, 70. I don't know how many people. It's still a lot. Um, mm-hmm. Which in New York, you got all these people around, so it's like, hey, pick your pick your walk outside. <laughs> right, just walk outside, Start having a conversation. <laughs> uh, as opposed yeah. like Mississippi is the distance. But I mean, I get I get that. Um, I think too, like the thought that I had whenever I was thinking about this question was like. I mean, why why were dating apps created? I think that there's an element of convenience that's not bad. It's actually good. I mean, to try to help people in their busy lives, try to figure out a way to streamline, to have relationships with other people. But um, it's like, man, like if convenience is the aim, uh, I don't know how helpful that is, especially if I'm looking at dating from a standpoint. And this is I guess this is person by person basis. When I think about dating, I think about uh, this is a person that I'm going to marry. This is going to be a future spouse. Um, and so like, it's, it's serious. It's not something that I'm just trying to find convenience and ease in because marriage is not convenient and easy. And so if that's the case, then like, dang, like it's not as helpful to that end. So I don't know if I would per se encourage it for that reason. But I mean, of course, people got busy lives. They got stuff going on and the Lord can use it. I just think that if you get into it, just trying to, you know, find somebody quick and you're not willing to put in the work after, you know, after you found that person and y'all go on your first date and you're thinking that, hey, this is just going to be an easy thing and we're going to get married and all things are going to be great. And you not do any actual work to try to you know, really get into that person and that person get into you and then y'all actually get into God together, then it's it's not as beneficial in my mind. And so it's like, man, yeah, you got the liberty, but how beneficial is it for you and how fruitful will it be in the end if you're going to it for convenience and you continue that mindset, you know, maybe not intentionally, but unintentionally, um, you continue that mindset. But um, I also feel like, you know, sometimes we get on Christian apps as well because we just lack trust in God. Like we just trying to, we just trying to do our thing. Like we want to be in a relationship and there's this, this, so it goes back to like motives and like, what, yeah. what is your heart saying? Like, do you just want, you know, is, is being in a relationship an idol? That's what you got to ask yourself. Like, you know, and I think for a lot of people, it is, it's idolatry. And at the end of the day, if that is uh, where, what your heart or what the Lord is exposing in your heart, then I'm like, nah, you shouldn't. You shouldn't get on Christian. You you shouldn't date, period, right now. Um, and uh, allow the Lord to kind of lead you uh, in in life. And, you know, uh, I think that Paul makes it clear, like, if the desire is there, uh, and I think that these are prayers and answers that the Lord desires to, you know, answer. So it's like a matter of being patient and waiting on the Lord, I think. Yo, so this conversation is pretty good to me, but listen, I want to hear from you. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you have some input uh, that you can leave down below? So if so, I want you to go ahead and leave a comment down below. Right, let's hear your wisdom on this subject, because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of things that we're missing. Um, and maybe you personally have a lot of experience with dating apps that uh, maybe wasn't as successful or maybe was good for you um we want to hear from you so go ahead and leave a comment down below and then we'll jump right back into the video let's get it yeah. and i even think man um like it goes back to the piece of like knowing yourself too like kind of like what you just alluded to ref like if you if you sit down all right let me reflect am i idolizing me being with somebody which i feel like i've definitely come across people who like have idolized and it's just one person in particular like on my facebook like uh and i know i know her personally but it's like almost every other day she's talking about like being with somebody and like she at the time she was like single or whatever and it's like fam like you talk about this like oh like i'm tired i'm tired of seeing this like like talk about something else you know what i'm saying uh and i think too like while you were while you were speaking, like I was thinking back, um, and this is before I met my wife for sure, but like I think the the social aspect mm-hmm. of it, um, it makes it easier or it makes it in a way, like you said, more convenient. Like, cause I know for me, one thing that I've learned about myself within the past couple of years is like that in social spaces, like I depending on who it is and who's around, sometimes I struggle, right? Like, um, like I do feel like I suffer with a bit. I suffer 
from a bit of social anxiety for yeah. sure. And I know like for me, it even meeting my wife, it like we could we first connected through like Instagram, right? So like I had the convenience of like speaking to her through just DMs. And that made it easier for me to be able to speak to her in person. Um, and I know like before, like I I would definitely be on like websites and stuff. And this would be back when I was interested in talking to uh, a girl, whether she was Christian or not. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, oh, this is this is easier for me because if I was to see that same person in person, like nine times, 99 times out of 100, I would not say nothing to yeah. her. Like, like, but if I'm behind the screen, if I'm like comfortable at home or something, I'm, like I get the, a chance to like think about it and like type it out. Like it makes it, it makes it easier for that. Mm -hmm. um, but I think, man, uh, thinking about it more, like I feel like maybe maybe apps or like dating sites or whatever could could be in a way uh, supplemental to yep. you know uh, the process of you know finding a spouse if, if that's the area that you know that you find yourself in in the area that you know that you should be in. Okay, like I'm being at least somewhat intentional about this. Like it can be maybe be uh, something. And I feel like. I'm sorry. I feel, I feel like yeah. too, like to that point that you were saying, and this is not to bash, uh, you know, dating apps because I think that you know they could be good, but I think you know just like with social media, and you you alluded to it, Schaefer. Like we we give polished versions of ourselves on social media, and I'm sure it's the same in dating apps. And I think that if people are just leaning toward the dating app to, um to confirm that hey this is a person that i should be with and they're not doing the work outside of that um then then it, it's not it's not beneficial it's not fruitful because it's like you just want to give people polished versions of yourself in this image that's not a true image and i think that like you said like it's about knowing yourself but i think the beauty of you know gospel community and the beauty of who god is too as well is that it's also being known and also yeah. like others knowing you god knowing you and uh the beauty there of the the twofold being known and knowing yourself is is something that i think is, is just spot on for sure yeah that's good stuff man so to wrap up this question man i, I was when i was thinking about this question man i i think about the fact that an app in itself is, is not sinful right an app is an app right a website is a website and so like, uh, I don't know which one of y'all said it. Um, you didn't say those exact words, but the apps in itself aren't the sinful thing. The sinful issue comes with our, our desires and our intentions, right? Um, and I mentor guys now uh, who like, and like I said, I never tried dating app stuff, um, but that was just like, yeah, like this app is used to, to hook up. Like it was, like, I think it was like, Snapchat or something crazy like that. It's like it ain't even like a date now. Yeah. Like yeah, but she's like, you you go in there to do that. And so I hear my students talk about Snapchat and uh yo, let me get your snap. I was like, nah, you don't need his snap. You know, we need to go. We had an event, <laughs> like snap nothing. We need to roll. Yeah. And so uh it's I think it's all about your intentions behind it. And I like 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 you guys said, if it's a supplemental thing, something that can help or add to or give you more exposure or give you put you out there more and more people and you're going at it with the right heart right. and um you know not seeking just to have sex or not seeking just to do anything improper but uh actually using it in a way that can actually add to and benefit uh benefit it that's that's good um but finding that balance too because you know we like to help we like to help god yeah. out we sure do like to help him yeah. out and uh, be messing some stuff up. And so, like I said, the app in itself, I don't think apps are bad, um, but it's all about your intentions and, um, you know, how you approach it. So, yeah. yeah. Any Anything else on that question? I would just say if, if you if you use a Snapchat to, to find your future spouse, like you, to me, that just seemed like you're playing. Yeah. Like you yeah. yeah. And I wonder how many people in your in your life currently our actual potential spouses and yet like you go on to Snapchat and you like, man, the Lord like, look, the sisters right here in the in right. the community group right here. Love the Lord. Right. But you trying to find a a, a a woman who love the Lord with a thought body. That's what you, you Right. Grace ain't got a thought body, but she love the Lord. It's just like that's 
that's the one for you. You know, it's like right, bro. right. What are your intentions? What are your, what are your goals? Man. How's your perspective, push, push man? Your heart, bro. Like, come on. Now. Again, I'd like to thank my friends Micah and Raf for hanging out with me again as we discuss this subject. Again, I want to know what you think. If you have not left a comment, I want you to leave a comment down below. And don't forget, man, if you are a man seeking to honor God in every single part of your lives and this video was beneficial to you, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And don't forget also, if you're listening to this on iTunes or Spotify or any other audio platform, go ahead and give us a follow. Leave a, a comment or leave a review uh, down below. Um, and just share the video or do whatever you got to do, man, so that we can help other men honor God in every single part of their lives. And if you would like to hear more on different subjects that me and my friend Micah and Raph have talked about, I want you to check out this video right here. Again, thank you for checking out this episode of the Men to Men podcast. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.